Hello, and welcome again to the Patient Educators Update, where we talk about patient education in a clinical environment. My name is Chuck Jones. I'm with Synergy Broadcast, and I'm joined, as always, by our guest, Fran London. Hi, Fran. Hi, Chuck. Fran is the patient education specialist at Children's Phoenix Children's Hospital out in Phoenix, Arizona, and she's also the author of the book, No Time to Teach, and uh, Fran, we're continuing our discussion of self efficacy and we talked about what it is a couple of episodes ago and uh, in the first episode after that we talked about skills mastery which is one of the things that uh, uh, the patients need to work on and it's a a good way for patient educators to help uh, the patient uh, improve their confidence when it comes to um, skills mastery and just to briefly recap we said that self-efficacy is the learner's perception about his or her confidence to perform a particular action, something that they have to do when they leave the hospital, like give themselves injections for the first time, or breathing treatment, uh, you name it, anything that's uh, different uh, because a, their diagnosis has produced a life-changing situation and they have to learn how to take care of themselves. So we're talking about how you get ready for that. And so the, uh, the number two uh, of the ways to improve self efficacy is modeling. Now, can you um, uh, tell us what modeling is and explain perhaps how it's used? Sure. Well, if a patient doesn't believe they can do something, um, it's a complex skill. I mean, one example is if a mom is taking care of a child who has a new tracheostomy, and there's a lot of uh, care involved with that. There's Mm -hmm. suctioning, there's changing the dressing, there's knowing what to do if the trach tube should fall out. Um, So the parent could easily be overwhelmed by just thinking about what needs to be learned in order to take care of this child safely at home. So modeling is a way to help the parent feel like it's possible to do this. Mm -hmm. And what modeling means is to um, have the parent observe someone similar to them uh, doing the process. So basically another parent um, as similar in situation as possible in terms of ethnicity, socioeconomic background, um, education, so that they see someone like them succeeding okay. at this very difficult procedure. Okay. So so you you want the patient or or the caregiver to be able to see that there's someone like them that does this and it's not a big deal. So even though it's a new thing for you, you can do it. Exactly. Because okay. if they if they watch a nurse do it or a doctor do it, it's easy for them to say, well, yeah, mm-hmm. you're, you're a nurse or a doctor. Of course, you know how to do it. But yeah. how can I learn it? But if you yeah. see someone like you, it's different. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, here's a question. Uh, what if there's nobody like them around to be able to show them? What do you do then? Oh, there now with technology, there are lots of opportunities. I mean, certainly with um, video or Skype, you could you could have a, a video showing uh, someone of similar mm-hmm. um, background doing it, and that still provides the modeling that's needed. Sure, yeah, it's it, a perfect example of how video and video on demand can supplement the the nurses. Um, uh, goal to get the patient ready to go when they go home. Uh, uh, so often, uh, you know, I hear the comment, well, we want to have a video system because uh, our our nurses don't have time to teach and the video can do it. And it's like, no, that's not what the video is for. The nurse still needs to do the teaching and make sure the patient understands, but the video is there as a tool. And this is an example, classic example of how you could use it. Exactly. Uh, you know, because uh, and and one of the things that pops up often is, well, there are no videos out there that show this. Well, you can make your own. It is so simple now to do that. And if there's somebody out there that doesn't know how to do it and wants some tips, call us. We'll be happy to help you explain how to get it done because it's really pretty easy. Uh, so so modeling is basically. Finding someone that is similar to the patient or the patient's caregiver to be able to have them demonstrate or show how they do whatever it is the patient needs to do. 
so that they can feel confident that they can do this. And then I guess once you do that, then you also go back to skills mastery, which we talked about in the previous episode, where you kind of build on that. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. But the whole thing about self-efficacy is it's about can you believe, can you be confident mm-hmm. that you're capable of doing it? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I guess, you know, there's an old saying, whether you believe you can or believe you can't, you're right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And so so the, the, the role of the nurse educator in this uh, situation is to make sure that the patient believes that they can do this so that when they leave the hospital, they are more confident. That's it. Excellent. Okay. Well, wonderful. Well, and uh, we'll we'll finish this topic up in two more episodes. Uh, we'll talk about reinterpretation of physiological signs, and I can't wait to get into that one. And then also social persuasion. I have some ideas about what that is, but it'll be interesting to explore those. So uh, thanks for your time today. Why don't you tell folks how they can find you online? Okay. Well, I've got a blog, a website at www.notimetoteach.com. And I'm on Twitter at No Time to Teach. Okay, and for folks that might be interested in video on demand for their hospital, uh, you can find out more about that from our website at SynergyBroadcast.com. And uh, for folks interested in Fran's book, I'll hold it up right here. Uh, You can find our book, No Time to Teach, wherever books are sold. It's available both in print and digital form. And for those of you who are doing Train the Trainer or interested in providing um, Uh, some uh, classroom training on patient education in your hospital you can get bulk uh, uh, you can get discounts for bulk purchases of Fran's book by visiting her publisher Pritchett and Hull and their website is p-h.com and you get a sizable discount for that so Fran I thank you for your time today and we look forward to speaking to you again in the next week or so okay thanks Chuck bye okay bye-bye